Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft and today is a little bit of an exciting ink exploration because I got my hands on Sailor's Yurameku um, Volume 2 or the second edition. So I hope I'm saying it right. I got only two colors because as previously mentioned, like my pens, I try to get inks that really just calls out to me rather than any old ink because they often end up to be stored in my collection and I do want to know how to use them. So I bought two from this second edition. I bought the Date Gokuru, which surprise is kind of like another purple. And of course, I got the Hana Gokuru, which is also like another purple. I say like because if you don't know yet, and I guess some of you do, it is um, a color shifting sort of ink. So I remember in my first few videos, I talked about chameleon inks. This might be a true chameleon ink because according to the sites, this ink changes on just when you put it on and the paper you put it on and well, just like any ink, also the nibs you use. Okay, so when you open the box, I already opened Date Gokuru, but when you open the box, okay, it's a nice dark gray box. It says it's dye ink, 20 ml. And when you open it up, it comes with the bottle of ink and some literature. So in case you haven't opened up a bottle of it, it's quite interesting because it comes with stickers. And the stickers apparently are meant for you to put on your converter once you've filled it up with ink so just you know what ink is in that converter so Date Kokuru also has it. It also comes with a little booklet that tells you how to use the ink with your cartridge. It has the Japanese and English in this part at least and when you open it up yep okay taking a little bit of time there we go it is all in Japanese but the pictures or the illustrations kind of tell you like it has different parts of the pen. It has how to fill it in, how not to fill it in, and also how to clean it up. So very, very helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the inks. So let's start with Hana Gokuru. All right. Okay, so the Yurameku name, apparently, um, there's some conversation about that. If it means flattening heart or wavering or flickering. I'm going to scoot you in. And for this particular exploration, I'll also be using, apart from my traveler's notebook, I'll be using some campus um, cards, word cards, the uh, coloring too. And of course, some Tomoe uh, River 52 GSM. All right, so let's start with Hana Gokuru. Okay. And the Kakimori brass nib. Let's just dip it a little bit. Okay. And let's put it on. All right, right off, putting it on. Let's see if I can scoot you in a bit more closer. It looks like a dark gray that is slowly becoming some sort of purple. Okay, so this is the Hana Gokuru, or Gokuro, and this is the Yura Neko. Okay, Sailor. And this is the Yura Neko 2. And of course, we want to have some thick lines and some thin lines. Okay, so immediately um, from the dark purple sort of color, I can see a little bit of red, a little bit of pink, and some purple on it. Okay, I want to try that on the... Let me just put this slightly aside. I guess I want to try it on the uh, Kokuyu word card. Okay. Just, just a little bit because apparently that's all I have. Let me just dip it in a little bit more so it's a bit richer. Okay, and let's do some swatching under. And then again, let's write Hana Kokoro. Okay. All right. 
So we'll revisit this in a little while. And let's try it on some coloring. Let's move you just a little bit. Okay, and on the coloring, textured, quite absorbent paper. Okay, let's spread, spread that a little bit more. All right, and let's go ahead and write its name. Hana Kokoro. Okay. If you don't use the coloring so often, like me, you kind of get a little bit thrown off by the texture it has. It's a very textured piece. Ooh, wow. All right, so I can see some pink here already. And on the word card, I actually see a little bit of like brown. Oh, okay, let's put that aside. And finally use some Tomoe River paper. And now I'm taking it from the Everyday Book from the Galen collection. Let's just dip it again and then use this. All right that in. This is actually my pen book, but I thought to use some Tomoe just to try this on it. Coco. All right. And some lines. Okay. So here I can already see some of the red kind of undertone to it. And we'll leave it to dry. And, okay, let's clean up our stuff just so we don't get confused. Okay, Oop. oh, sorry. <laughs> that got a little bit entangled. All right, let's visit or revisit the almost dried up inks now. So, Hana Gokuro in your traveler's notebook, just regular paper looks like a dusky, I suppose, dusky sort of mm, purple, like a red purple kind of color. And on the campus, the Kokuyu campus card, okay, it's coming off a bit brown actually with some gray purple undertone. It's like the other way around. Can you see it? I, okay, focus is a bit weird on this one. And on the coloring, cat hair, it looks more like a red actually, but a very, very dark brick red. Hmm, with some purple um, undertone. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, then now let's go and try the Date Gokoro. Okay, which I think is going to be a purple. So we will see. Let's just move this a bit. Okay. All right. Let's open it up. Remove cat hair. I love my cats, but they leave so much hair. Okay, healthy dip of ink, and let's go ahead. Oof, this is nice. Okay, let's go ahead and write what it is. Date, Gokoro, Yura, Meku, Tu, Sailor. Not the best penmanship. Okay and some lines. All right, so it looks more like a uh, purple. All right. Um, then the other one, and I see a little bit of pink sort of coming through. And let's go ahead and try it on the Kokuyu word card. Still a lot left on the nib. 
I'm sorry. Okay. And again, this is the Date Kokoro. All right, let's just do some writing on it. Okay. Ooh, some pink. I can see some pink. That is quite nice. Okay, and of course, on our coloring. Now, I think I need to dip it again. I think I'm kind of low on ink. Don't know why I closed it. But, okay. I need to dip it again because coloring loves ink. It, like, the minute you put it on, it just, like, soaks it in. Which is interesting because it doesn't bleed. It feels more like a cardstock, really, which I think it is, obviously, than paper. So it's not a very um, good basis on how well a color will write on actual paper, but it is wonderful to use just to see the colors and how they, well, in this case, transform. Okay, and finally, because I am interested, let's put it on some Tomoe River paper. Ooh, wow, look at Hanagokoro. It's settling in to be some sort of like a brown purple kind of color. All right, let's just put this in. Still quite purple when you lay it down. And let me write the name. Okay. And draw some lines with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is um, just revisit that Gokoro again with you. And then after I do that, we're going to take like, well, you won't feel it, but I'm going to take some sort of like a five minute break just to give it some time to dry, okay? So right now, this is how it looks. I'm gonna scoot you out. Okay, so Hana Gokoro looks more like a, oops, sorry. Looks more like a brown, sort of dusky purple. Date Gokoro looks very much like a purple with a little bit of red on some of the edges there. Um, on the coloring, Hana Gokoro is like a brick red and Date Gokoro looks like so purple with a little bit of sheen going for it. Okay, then on the Kokoyo word card, Hana Gokoro is some sort of like a dusky, like a gray, red, purple kind of color. That's kind of interesting. It is like kind of like a flickering. It's very hard to uh, really describe the color, but it's it's really nice. I wonder how this will look like on a pen. And this one is still a nice purple with some red shimmer, red sheen on its edges. More like a sheen actually. And on the Tomoe, all right, this one is like a nice dusky gray with a little bit of red uh, brown on it. And the Date Gokuro is still a nice purple, which is the tiniest bit of purple, oh, sorry, red sheen. So I'm gonna wait for about five, 10 minutes and I'm gonna come back and I'll show you how it looks after 10 minutes drying time. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so as promised, actually, you didn't wait for like 15 minutes. I waited for 15 minutes. Um, and I wanted to make sure that they were as dry as much as possible. So this is how they look now. All right, this is Hana Gokuro on Traveler's Notebook, just regular paper. It looks more like a dark gray with some reddish brown undertone and Date Gokuro looks very much still like a purple with a reddish, I don't know, sheen on its edges. So this is quite interesting, not as life-changing as I thought it would be. On the coloring, um, Hana Gokuro 
um, looks more like a reddish brown with some gray undertone. And Date Gokuro um, still looks like purple with a little bit of like a red sheen going for it. Okay, and on the Kokoro, or sorry, Kokuyo word cards, um, Hana Gokoro, oh, so many names, so like that, is more like a gray brown with a little bit of red sheen. And Date Gokoro, still with a purple and a little bit of a red sheen on the edges. Okay, and on Tomoe River paper, Hana Gokoro looks very much like a gray with just a tiny bit of red sheen on the edges where it pulled. The area where it pulled just looks more like a darker gray and Date Gokoro actually is pretty consistent. Still purple with a little bit of red sheen. Did it bleed? Tiniest bit. No ghosting though, just a tiniest bit where there was like a lot of ink. Let's just go ahead and check here too. No bleeding, no bleeding. So it's quite well behaved considering that I did put, a, put in a lot of ink. None on the coloring as well. Good. And on the traveler's notebook, let's do a quick check. Oh, no bleeding there as well. Everything looking good. Okay, so these are the two Yura Meko inks that I got. The Hana Gokuro and the Date Gokuro. This is the more interesting one because it's uh, it's very much like a shifting color. Um, and the Date Gokuro seem to be quite consistent in all of these um, paper samples or surfaces that I used. Okay, thank you for joining me in this ink exploration with these color changing chameleon inks. And uh, I hope to catch you in the next video. Oops, don't forget to like this video if you like inks watching. I really would like that feedback. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to receive notifications whenever I post videos like this or videos about pens. I am a beginner, so do excuse me if I say some uh, names wrong or anything like that. Um, and also, have a great day or a restful evening. This is Kai. Bye, everyone.